Is what we're looking at, what we're hearing, what we're reporting on, is it just inevitable now that Putin and Russia will invade? No, I don't think it is inevitable. Um, as some of the leaders have said, there is still scope for diplomacy. And the longer that there isn't an invasion, as it were, I think the better the chances that there might be a diplomatic solution to this current crisis. We are entering, though, a very sensitive window because the Beijing Olympics are coming to a close at the end of the week. The Belarus-Russian military exercises are coming to a close and the Russians do have all the necessary uh, troops, but also logistical backup for an invasion if they wish to take that course. But equally, there's a lot of diplomatic activity with Chancellor Schultz going to Moscow today. And I think there is a reasonable chance that there will be uh, something less than a full-scale invasion. There may still be some military activity by Russia, but equally, there may be a diplomatic pause for the moment. Um, you were the National Security Advisor to the Prime Minister until uh, 2017. You'll be aware of the kind of briefing, Ben, that will be going on uh, in this COBRA meeting the Prime Minister is hosting this morning. He's uh, cancelled all his other plans. He was supposed to be in Cumbria in Scotland uh, as part of this levelling up agenda, but he's focusing solely on this and he'll be briefing his Cabinet on the latest. What sort of things will they be discussing and why do the Cabinet need to know all of that? Well, the, there's difference between COBRA and the Cabinet. The COBRA is a, uh, an emergency response uh, meeting, and so they will be focused more on the immediate consequences for the United Kingdom, whether that be British nationals that are still in Ukraine, can they leave the country, or what is going to happen with the embassy in Kiev if there's an in invasion, um, are we ready for, with the sort of sanctions package, etc., if Russia takes action. It's more those sort of immediate uh, actions um, in response to the crisis. Cabinet would be a wider discussion of the geostrategic position, uh, reporting on the discussions that uh, Boris Johnson's had with President Biden and other leaders, and getting an assessment from the intelligence agencies about what the chances are of military aggression are over the next few days. So the two meetings are a little bit different.